Have you ever wondered how and if money or debt affects your mental health? As we close out the month of May, which is National Mental Health Awareness Month, I wanted to share with you, my audience, the effects of money on your mental health. In this video, I'm sharing some facts about the relationship between money and mental health and also some things that I did to overcome my anxiety around debt. So if this is the type of content that you're interested in learning about, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join the Edupreneur Diaries community. Hello everyone, I'm Kimberly. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. If this is your first time here, I hope that you find this content helpful and I would love to have you drop a key emoji in the comments to let me know that you are a newbie to my channel. On this channel, we talk about ways to unlock your financial freedom by incorporating three essentials into your daily routine that is going to help you level up your life so that you can live the life that you deserve. Those essentials are planning, productivity, and personal finance. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram where I share additional tips and inspiration around these three skills. And I'm excited to announce that I have a new website that officially launches on July the 1st, but you can go ahead and visit it right now, take a sneak peek, grab a freebie, and sign up for my monthly newsletters. Now, let's get into the content. The first fact that I want to share with you is that money problems and mental health are often linked. I know when I was $30,000 in credit card debt, I felt trapped. I felt like I was in quicksand. I was making the minimum payments each month and of course I wasn't making any progress on paying down my balances. So over time, it just became stressful and I just felt stuck. So I would literally be making a $30 payment or a $50 a minimum payment, and then I would turn around and spend the money once it cleared on the credit card. So I did a little research and there are studies that show that there is a correlation between people with problem debt and mental health and then vice versa people with mental health problems are more likely to be in problem debt so what do you think do you do you guys agree with this all right let's move to fact number three mental health problems make it harder for you to earn money it makes it harder for you to manage money to spend responsibly and also even to ask for help around money so mental health can certainly affect your income and there's a significant income gap for those with mental health problems uh, fact number four financial difficulties are a common cause of stress and anxiety so mental health can become severe when you have creditors constantly calling you or when creditors begin to get aggressive or they seem insensitive about collecting a debt. Um, this can cause people to have things like, you know, eating disorders, people are not eating, or maybe they isolate themselves from others, or maybe they do something else. But um, these are some issues that it can cause. Number five, mental health problems can affect your ability to save money this can cause memory problems it can cause people to have impulsive shopping problems um, and it can just you know make make it hard for people to stay on top of their financial responsibilities lastly we have number six mental health can make it harder to access essential services meaning it may be harder for you to go to the bank it may be harder for you to understand your bills or to remember account details which can then lead to stress and financial difficulties right so um, if you are depressed you may have a hard time um, with energy or with motivation 
to keep track of your money, which can then cause issues with your sleeping. It can cause your moods to be affected. So these are the six uh, facts about money and mental health that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's look at some abundant debt in America. So we're talking about trillion dollar debts in America. So here are the top four. Uh, mortgages, credit card debt, student loan debt, and car loans. And you guys let me know in the comments below which one of these are you struggling with. I really feel like credit card debt may become even a larger problem, especially now with gas prices and inflation. So drop a key emoji below in the comments and let me know what are your opinions or what are your experiences as it relates to mental health and money. So let's have a genuine discussion in the comments or you can simply just share a tip or share a quote for those that are struggling with debt and or struggling with mental health. I know that many of you may have experienced a reduction in income after COVID or you may have another situation which has caused you financial instability in your life. But I want to encourage those of you that may be overwhelmed and struggling with debt and mental health to simply stay strong. This is only for a season. So go ahead and start a plan today, right now, that's going to help you get out of what I call this quicksand. So it's never too late to start. No matter how old you are, it is not too late. I am 41 years old and I paid off my $30,000 in debt in 2020. Okay, so comment below. I'm ready if you are ready to get out of debt and more importantly, if you are ready to stay out of debt. So here are some things that um, helped me to get out of debt and to overcome anxiety around money. First thing is I created a budget. I started tracking my spending. A good person to follow for that is the budget mom. Highly recommend her. Um, I earned more money, increased my income. I established sinking funds, consolidated all of my debt, and I will link below um, Lending Club, which is the company that I use to consolidate my debt. I also have a referral link that I'll put in there in case you all are interested. Also, I spent less money and then I started just reading um, articles and books and watching a lot of videos around personal finance. So if I can do it, you definitely can do it. Now, if you prefer to keep track of your debt journey, finance journey, or your mental health journey using a simple lined hardcover notebook, then check out my new debt diary. It's currently available on Amazon along with several other diaries that may be useful to those of you who like to put pen to paper. Also, grab my freebie debt tracker visual digital download in the comments below and as always if you have made it this far in the video go ahead like this video subscribe to support my channel and hit the notification bell so that you know every time Edupreneur Diaries posts a new video thanks for watching